Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our daily get-together live here on Facebook every day of the week, 10.30 in the morning, where we examine headlines, comments, questions, ideas, and suggestions on how to have an awesome life here in Puerto Vallarta, how to connect with our city and its culture and the culture of Mexico in general for English-speaking locals here in our city. Um, okay, you're being too festive, squirrel, but... Um, there's a squirrel on the screen, and there's a very specific reason for that, and I'll explain the squirrel in a second, but um, we're going to leave her here frolicking in the leaves of fall, the fall leaves for a second, and then I will tell you what the squirrel is all about in a second. Uh, but first, I want to welcome you to Coffee and Headlines. If this is the first time you've joined us, uh, we want to make sure that you let us know that you're new to the broadcast, and that would be lovely if you just write the word new in your comments or suggestions. That way we um, can say hello to you and give you a proper welcome. And if you have a specific question that you would like to share with everybody here at Coffee and Headlines during the broadcast, uh, just write the letter Q before it. That way we will know to address it during the broadcast. I've said broadcast 17 times today. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, let's see who is here. Uh, let's see who's here. Um, Mike is here. Mike is in the house. Joe is in the house. Uh, Raymond, our favorite in-house baker, is in the house. I love it. Uh, I love it. Sly says it's two 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 Tuesday. That's difficult to say. Two two Tuesday. I love it. Um, <clears throat> let's see who else is here. Um, that we haven't said hello to. Uh, oh, ouch. Judy is 45 degrees out this morning. That must be Fahrenheit because that sounds cold indeed. Um, wow. Uh, New Jersey's in the house. Hello, Ricky. It's great to see you all. Uh, Tabachines is in the house. Good morning, Stephanie. Um, and uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else is here? Well, all kinds of wonderful friends. Uh, getting a little squirrely. Absolutely. Um, and uh, let me get rid of the squirrel because the, the squirrel is making me wonder about all kinds of things. But um, today we're going to celebrate a birthday in a second. Uh, actually, we might as well celebrate the birthday right now. Today is the birthday of my friend Christy Frederick. She is a dear friend. And uh, let's bring back the squirrel. Why not? Christy rescues squirrels. This is what she does. Isn't that amazing? It's like we, squir we rescue dogs and cats and this and that and the other. But Christy rescues squirrels so as a birthday present to to christy with whom i had lovely dinner last night with christy and her family and my dear friend nina i thought we would bring out this um this little squirrel but also i thought i would take the opportunity to share more spanish we're gonna have a squirrel phrase in spanish today this is i figured this would be my my birthday present to to christy and um and it is a phrase that I really hope you don't ever have to use unless you are with the best of friends. And I, I sure hope that this is a phrase that not that you don't ever have to have somebody tell you because it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> so and this is not directed at anyone in particular. If anything, it's directed at me because I know that I schwitz and schwitz in Yiddish is to sweat. So today's... Um, phrase that we're going to learn in honor of Christy is, drum roll, te chilla la ardilla. Get this. I'm going to unpack this phrase because it is very common. It is very awkward. Let us start by saying that the meaning, te chilla la ardilla means you suffer from body odor. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you where that comes from. Probably. Um, this is like many Mexican albures, uh, when words rhyme with other words, that's how awkward expressions are made. And it's probably awkward for anybody to say to somebody else, hey, you're, you're suffering from body odor, body odor or B.O. or whatever. So the word for armpit in Spanish is axila, axila. And axila is close enough to ardilla that some confused child must have at some point said um, ardilla. Anyhow, the phrase, the chi, te chilla la ardilla, literally means your squirrel is crying. 
but the metaphor is that your armpit is crying or it's exuding a certain um, a certain aroma, shall we say. So there you have it. If you hear somebody saying, um, te chilla la ardilla, it means somebody is suffering uh, from, from bio or somebody schwitzing and we can all tell. You can also be, uh, when you say te chilla, you are addressing the phrase to uh, one person in particular. If there is, if you're talking about somebody else, you would say le chilla la ardilla. So uh, there you go, Christy, happy birthday, happy squirrel day. Um, and let's hope that you don't ever have to say that to anybody. Again, me being a person that schwitz a lot, I always worry about things like that. Ah, okay, so now, <laughs> now we move on with the program. Today we're going to take a look at some, um, um, oh, Gary, come on, that is so punny. I love it. Actually, I love bringing this up because it was Gary who, at the end of yesterday's program, baptized our new segment for Tuesdays, which is Toot Your Horn Tuesday. And that's exactly what we're going to do later on. Once we get to the leisure part of the program, we're going to ask everybody to tell us a little bit about themselves and about their business here in Puerto Vallarta. But not yet. First, we're going to take a look at some news, starting with, um, well, we might as well just go there. Boom. For starters, our governor, Enrique Alfaro, published some very sexy photographs. Well, I think they're not sexy, but they are sexy, actually, of all the remodeling work that is being done here in Avenida Francisco Medina Asensio, which, in which the lateral roads are being uh, redone. As you can see, they are paved with new concrete. All the infrastructure that goes under the roads to prevent floodings, you know, like water pipes and whatnot, is being redone. And when this project is all done, uh, we are also going to be able to enjoy a bicycle lane that goes along Medina Asensio. So as you can see, the work is quite advanced, and this is really good news for us. Of course, it also brings all kinds of, um, of traffic problems presently, so we all need to learn to be a little patient as we go through this part of town in our vehicles or as, or as we are waiting for our Ubers to arrive. But once it's over, it's going to be a very, very beautiful thing. Best Buy decides to go out of Mexico. Hold on just one second. Ah, thank God for the mute button. You don't have to hear me cough. Um, Best Buy decides to leave Mexico. So if you have any interesting shopping to do in Guadalajara at Best Buy, that's one of my favorite stops. Um, they have decided to restructure the company, and this means that the 40-something stores that they have throughout Mexico, it's actually 49 branches, um, are going to be closed starting on the 31st of December. So uh, this may mean a lot to some or not much, but I personally love going to Best Buy whenever I go to Guadalajara. Um, I just thought I'd put this information out there. Now... We've been talking about the Guadalupe days and, and the processions and all the stuff that is coming up, wondering what exactly can or cannot happen in the archdiocese in Tepic, of which our church is a part of, has uh, published statements in which they're asking all people to, to, to praise the Virgin of Guadalupe from home this year. There will be no massive... Uh, mass usually it is on the 12th of December which is the day in which we celebrate the Virgin that we have a big mass for the favored ones it's called Misa de los Favorecidos and uh, it's being hoped that people will stay home that there will be no uh, peregrinaciones or processions during the first 12 days of December uh, they will not be allowed we had reported recently that the government will not offer any permits for street vendors to sell anything in downtown Puerto Vallarta. So things will be business as usual every other year. Of course, when we're trying to get from one point to another, we all know as locals to avoid downtown Puerto Vallarta between December 1st and December 12th because traffic is just horrendous. But none of that. Now, the church will open. The church will open, but they will be very vigilant over the fact that they don't want people to... Uh, gather in the church. People will be expected to go in and 
and and do their 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 praying and then um, leave in an efficient manner. So let's hope that this is the case. Let's hope that um, none of this will happen indeed. And also they're being very specific about not allowing children in the church or seniors. So um, there's going to be opportunities apparently to do uh, to pray and to celebrate the Virgin of Guadalupe from home thanks to special a broadcast that are going to be set forth for that specific um, reason. <clears throat> Next, I want to report about El Buen Fin. As you know, we just ended this two-week period, and um, it was extremely successful. 750 businesses from the region participated, uh, and they in were able to increase their online sales by 15%. When compared to last year, this is good news when you consider the fact that we are all going through a challenging period financially, uh, many people having lost their jobs or having lost a fair amount of income during the pandemic. So it is good to see that things were prosperous uh, during the, the special two-week promotion. Let me pause for a second and take a quick look at your comments before we continue with the program. Lots of happy birthdays, lots of um, um, lots of comments. Do squirrels need rescue? Apparently they do, James. I asked myself um, the same question, and I figured one of these days when I have a chance, I will sit down with my friend Christy and I will ask her specifically what it is that she does. But obviously if she says, I rescue, um, I rescue squirrels, who am I to question what she does? Quite the contrary. Let's see. Da, 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 um, you smell like a squirrel. <laughs> Not precisely. <clears throat> Not precisely. Your squirrel is squealing is more like it. Logan, you got that right. Um, I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, Team Fan, who was just here in town, uh, is now in San Francisco. It is great to see you. Um, Joe Willis uh, says, how does anyone know what a squirrel smells like? It's not about that, Joe. If the squirrels don't smell, and if they smell, they have nothing to do with this colorful phrase that I shared with you. It is us humans that get schwitzy as we go in and out of the weather. Uh, let's see. Logan, I know that is uh, trying to arrange a horseback riding experience for Christy. This is how small this town is. We all know what everybody is up to. So... Uh, it's great to see that this is happening. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, ba -dim, ba -boom, ba -boom. Lots of pet-related comments. I love it. I've only seen squirrels in Mexico City, never here. You know, I don't see them quite frequently here in Puerto Vallarta, but every now and then I do see squirrels. Way back when I lived in Boston, they were everywhere. So um, so it is, it is a good thing. Linda is... Uh, <clears throat> here and I was so very happy that she shared something wonderful with me this morning that I'm going to share with you in a little while. But first, let us move on to the weather and our leisurely stuff so that we can then move on to Toot Your Own Horn Tuesday. Check it out. One degree cooler. It is 26 degrees Celsius, it's been 27 uh, for the most part while we've been on the broadcast over the last few days. Now it is 26 degrees, feels like 29. That would be 79 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity is at 75%. And uh, the weather forecast for today tells us that it's going to be humid through the day. I feel a little schwitzy. It's quite possible that my, my squirrel is squealing a little, but I'll make sure to take a shower before I venture into the world. Uh, humid through the day um, today, I mean tomorrow, sorry about that, and it's going to be humid through the day on Thursday as well. So there you have it. Now, I told you uh, just a few days ago that I had the chance to check out a new restaurant in Versailles. Well, new to me, actually. I went and had a lovely dinner with friends at Florios in Versailles, and for those of you who haven't experienced Florios. Florios is a wonderful 
Italian, uh, Argentinian restaurant in El Centro here in Puerto Vallarta. And they have a new branch in Versalles. It's a smaller version of the original and it is quite lovely, small, intimate. You can sit al fresco outside. You can sit with air conditioning inside, which is absolutely wonderful. And the good thing about this is that we have very quickly gone and added it to our <clears throat> Versailles for Foodies map, which means that we now have 26 different uh, restaurants and eateries described in this map that we put together for Coffee and Headlines members. Check it out. There is all kinds of restaurants here. And uh, of course, if you are a subscriber, if you are a supporting member of Coffee and Headlines, you already have the address on where to find this. If you are not, I'm going to share it in the show notes. Of course, you will have to be a Coffee and Headlines member to be able to enjoy this map, which absolutely looks wonderful on your computer screen. It looks great on your phone, on your cell phone, and it looks great on your iPad if you are out in about. Now, the next bit of news that I want to show you before I answer your questions has to do with the new bills, the new vertical bills that we've been talking about, the 100 peso bills. Now it turns out that the Bank of Mexico has an application, an app that you can install on your cell phone so that you can see butterflies. <laughs> yes, butterflies flying off your, uh, your bill. This is called virtual reality, folks. It's welcome to the virtual reality world. So I assume this means that if you have a bill in your hands, let's see, 100 peso bill, I put it here and I look at it with my cell phone. And if I have this application built in or installed, I will see butterflies coming out of my, dollar, uh, my 100 peso bill. And I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to install this application just to see what I see. And then the next day I am going to eat one of the brownies that I make and I am going to see if I see anything other than um, butterflies or if I see butterflies elsewhere in the apartment and I will cheerfully let you know how that went. Now, <laughs> um, let me show you something really funny that I saw online that has absolutely nothing to do with Puerto Vallarta, but this is just my dirty mind in action. Check this illustration out. What do you see? And that is a question for you while I drink my coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, this is nothing more and nothing else than an icon that BC Ferries in Canada decided to put out to suggest to people that um, that they have to wear a face mask. But there is something strange about the shape of that ear such that uh, James Corden uh, brought it up on his television show and spoofed the fact that that ear and those... Um, those um, exactly, somebody said penis. Sherry Cooper says penis. Um, and... Um, and apparently this, this made such so much noise that BC Ferries was forced to replace their sign because it was mocked on television. So uh, we don't know exactly what's going to happen with this. Uh, as long as we're here, I might tell you that if you, uh, oh my God, what's the name of, of La Leche? If you look at La Leche, restaurant here in Puerto Vallarta and you stand outside of the building and you look at all those squiggly things that are in La Leche, um, I wonder how many penises you will see. And in fact, I am going to go take a photograph. For years, while well, I was uh, uh, working at Vallarta Lifestyles, I used to see penises on that wall and I figured, well, I cannot ever talk about this because I'm working for the magazine and they advertise and yada, yada, yada. But now that I'm not affiliated with them or the magazine or, we any, or with anyone and we're doing pretty much our own thing here, I'm going to go take a photograph of La Leche's storefront and on Sunday, Sunday fun day, we're going to count penises just to see how many penises we find on that wall. I am sure we will find quite a few of them. And the last link that I want to share with you before we move on to um, our special section of Toot Your Own Horn Tuesday is I'm going to share with you this wonderful 
<laughs> um, version of the song Monster Mash, but it's called You Need a Mask. I cannot play it because, as you know, uh, YouTube gets on our case when we play things that come from YouTube. But Linda, thank you very much for sharing this. She shared it right before the show started. And I was I found myself laughing hysterically at this. You need a mask. You need a healthy mask and things like that. So I know that this is going to be the song that's going to be stuck in my head all day long. Ni modo. What are we going to do? So let me very quickly take a look at your comments and see how we're doing so far. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. I see a question. Stephanie asks, I am a supporting member. Please, how do I obtain the foodie map? Gracias. Okay. Well, I'm going to put a link in the show notes, which has uh, the access to the map. In order to be able to get to it, you will need to sign up to your Buy Me a Coffee account with the same email address that you use to become a supporting member, and you will be able to look at the link and download it. If you have any problems, Stephanie, just drop me a message through the Facebook page, and I'll be happy to hold your hand. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Is this so people can see if the bill is counterfeit? I would imagine so, but I just think it's strange that the, the bank would like develop an entire application just to be able to see butterflies spinning. I just don't see, you know, cash registers in at Walmart or stores, you know, with their phones checking every phone, every bill to make sure that it is legitimate or not. But, you know, maybe it's just an amusement. I'll have a look at it. Uh, what is the butterfly app called? Uh, lovely, James. That is going to be in the show notes when you look at the article. Um, you will be able to have an answer for that. Uh, Pepito Guapioli. What a lovely name. New. Hola. Hello. We are thinking of spending the week after Christmas in Vallarta with our kids. How is COVID now? Which color is Vallarta on? Can we still walk the streets with no mask? Just keeping social distance. Is my squirrel going to squill? Is it going to rain? Is it going to snow? What's going to happen? So many questions, Pepito. Let's break them down. Let's unpack this. Um, how is COVID now? COVID is doing its thing, but not as viciously as before because our state has been very proactive at enforcing the local guidelines, which are very simple. Wear a mask, keep your distance, don't go out unless you have to, wash your hands frequently, and if you have any signs of symptoms, act on it immediately and see a doctor. Which color is Vallarta on? Vallarta is not on any color because Vallarta does not abide by the national color map. Vallarta has its own um, business and its own method of diagnosis, and this is announced by our governor, Enrique Alfaro, every Monday. Every Sunday, we broadcast it on Monday. So you are welcome to watch the replay of yesterday's broadcast so that you can have more thorough information. Can we still walk the streets with no mask? Absolutely not. Um, and that's just my personal opinion. If you see people walking down the streets with no masks, you're simply encouraging other people to do so. Now, that said, if I am walking out and about and I am approaching someone you know, I, I will wear my mask like this, you know, uncovering my nose sometimes. Um, and uh, and if I see somebody approaching, I will lift my mask. But don't bring your kids to Puerto Vallarta if you are not planning on following the local guidelines. And again, the local guidelines are wear a mask if you're out and about. If you don't want to do that, please don't come to Puerto Vallarta, at least not now. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What else do we have? <clears throat> oh, my God, you all reacted to that ferry company. Is that not funny or what? Uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to show. I'm sorry. Uh, what I wanted to show before I go. Well, let me take a look at what Logan said. Uh... Oh, my God, really? That was horrible, Logan. This is what I wanted to show. Readers comment on a rare disorder, ear penis. Very hard to hear. <laughs> that is hysterical. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, it is so heartwarming to have tourists coming who first ask, do we have to wear a mask? Yes, that is heartwarming. But the reality is you do have to wear a mask. Thank you for asking. If you're not planning on wearing one, please stay in your hotel room. Uh, let's see. 
Yesterday, I said something about all of us on Facebook. Can you please repeat it? Oh, dear. I can't think of what that might have been. Uh, Angelica, if, um, if you can be more specific, I'll be happy to, to, to answer that. Okay, so <clears throat> I think we're done with, um, with everything we have. So we are going to spend the next uh, following minutes playing a game. Um, and this game is called Toot Your Own Horn. So what I am going to invite you to do starting this very moment is in one sentence, please write what you do and please include either your website or your Facebook page. And this is a way for all of us to learn a little bit more about the community, who is here, what you do, et cetera, et cetera. I will start, but I won't put up a, a, a URL because you know who I am. My name is Paco. I go live every day in the morning, and you already know that. Uh, oh, there's the first one. Raymond, thank you very much. That is a big sentence, but I love it. Raymond is, uh, is owns an artisan bakery here in Versailles. Absolutely. It is highly recommended. You can also find Raymond selling his bread at, um, at the Three Hens and a Rooster Market on Saturdays. Thank you very much. And he offers his menu, which is absolutely wonderful. Who's next? Uh, Jim Sullivan, the Chili Cook-Off Facebook page. Jim Sullivan does the Chili Cook-Off, and we hope that this year they're not going to use any styrofoam. I'm going to continue to harp on that because I can. Uh, when is the date, Jim? Do you guys have a date? And hopefully, again, there will be no styrofoam at the event. Um, Jeannie is a photographer. That's wonderful. I had no idea. Priceless pics by Jeannie. That's great. <laughs> Sherry is retired. I love your webpage, Sherry. I use that webpage whenever I can. Um, Claude is a retired emergency nurse for 29 years. If I had somebody give me emergency treatment, I, it would have to be Claude. He is one of the, you are one of the gentlest, kindest, most wonderful human beings I know, and I mean that. And a Claude hug, I tell you, it is one of those wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, oh, I had no idea. James leads tours to see the butterflies. How wonderful. Oh my God, that is fantastic. I had no idea about this. Um... Lynn has a, a guest house, and we know that, but it's nice that we see the link here. Um, Angelica is retired. Um, <laughs> Michael says, I'm a workaholic, a, a work alcoholic, not a workaholic, a work alcoholic, and have a few restaurants. Absolutely. Uh, Michael has, as you know, he has Siam Cuisine, which I'm shamelessly addicted, shame, shamelessly addicted to. He has Bravos, and he has Poblanos. Poblanos is a Mexican restaurant, um, and... Um, the peculiarity about Michael's restaurants is that they let me in, they let me sit wherever I want, and I always want to sit on top of the waiters. That was rude, but I have to say it. He has very sexy, very wonderful staff. Heather writes and promotes. That's wonderful. Logan uh, manages a small villa, Villa, villa Lola. That's wonderful. Um, Rita is a published uh Author, and I know that Rita used to work or has worked in, in, in image, creating, designing your image and graphic design related things. Um, Kathleen is a very successful business owner here in town. She does um, ice cream, uh, sells ice cream at her three, is it three Licks locations? I think it is three. But she is also a very prolific writer and she writes a lot on her personal blog about how to live in Mexico and more specifically how to become a business person in Mexico. All these links are absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, congratulations to you, Jim. I'm so very glad that you purchased biodegradable items. You should real well, I, I am sorry I said the word should. The word should is a horrible thing. Whenever people tell me I should do something, I cringe. So I, I'm going to change that. Jim, I am quite certain that if in your promotion strategy this year, the chili cook-off makes a big deal about the fact that you've gone green and that you've paid attention to the planet, a lot of people are going to respond favorably to that. Uh, and I'm coming from a publicist. I totally encourage you to consider that. Hopefully you guys will play on that fact because it's really, really important that people know that you are listening to what the community 
needs and what is important to the community. And that's just my humble opinion. Uh, I hope you will take it to heart. Uh, Terry, I've had the pleasure of meeting Terry and Sherry. Uh, they operate beach crossers. Uh, if you ever thought it would be impossible to bring someone to Puerto Vallarta that has mobility issues and have them enjoy the destination, I've seen photos of these crazy but wonderful wheelchairs that they can take right into the ocean. So if you have a relative or you yourself are needing this kind of, of mobility help, uh, they are the ones to provide it for you and they work all over the Bay. They are based in Nuevo Vallarta. Um, uh, my husband and I are the Art Boys, Galleries and Interior Designers at Galleria Brown. This is great to know, Santiago. I had no idea. At some point, please share some of the work that you guys are doing so that the community can see it. Feel free to send me some photographs so we can see how you're keeping yourself prosperous. Um, uh, Delta Airlines flight attendant, SLC, St. Louis. Saint, Saint, I don't know what SLC is, but if you happen to be... Uh, there, there are a couple of flight attendants that I've been having a conversation with about getting together and videotaping a segment of what it's like to be a flight attendant in the COVID days. Hopefully, if you happen to be in Puerto Vallarta, when we do that, it'll be an interesting conversation. And some people have expressed interest in hearing more about this. Um, let's see. When is the best time to view the Monarchs? I believe it is now but I am not entirely certain. Um, <clears throat> Stephanie crochets. Oh my God, I used to crochet when I used to live in Boston. I used to just, just swear by a good movie on television, a lot of Baileys by my side, a hook and a lot of yarn, and I would just Afghan my way through winter. You cannot do that here in town because it's so freaking hot. Uh, Gigi is a broker. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, and I would be very intrigued to see this, James. I've never seen the Monarchs, um, and I've always wanted to. So that's definitely on my bucket list. Uh, let's see. Is the 100 peso note app a reference to the Monarch butterflies? You know, it might be. I'm not entirely sure. I remember they referenced a few elements of Mexican culture, but I honestly, I don't remember, Michael, if the monarchs were mentioned in that reference. I'll look into it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Angelo Sanasardo. What a great name. I'm an artist, painter. With most of my paintings at Arte Viviente. Arte Viviente is that wonderful artist co-op in El Centro where you can find the works of many local artists. And I've walked in there once or twice and you can find paintings and clothing and all kinds of wonderful articles created by locals, which is beautiful. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, James has to go and is loving all the tooting. I am loving all the tooting and I'm very, very grateful that you are all kind enough to let us know a little bit about what you're doing. Another photographer at Dorset. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, Tamara is, uh, is, um, is discreet. She doesn't tell us what she does. She chooses to just share, uh, a website. We'll have to go there and figure out what she does. Thank you for that, Tamara. Uh, and I'm pretty much getting to the end of these. Oh, Salt Lake City. Thank you very much. I'm not very good at my airport codes, but I appreciate that very much. And, um, and Deanna is a former go-go dancer, now run haunted houses in Vegas. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyhow, this is what we have for today. This is this is what it's like to live here in Puerto Vallarta as a local, as an English-speaking local. For those of you who are looking from the outside, thinking, do I want to go here? Do I want to go to Puerto Vallarta? Um, Rita asks, this sounds like a big ask, but would it be possible to gather all these wonderful links in one place and distribute to the group, kind of like the Versailles Foodies map? I think we can find a way to do that, Rita. I Again, I'm trying to navigate the, um, the, the, the waters between supporting and promoting and advertising. Uh, we've been very clear in the past uh, about and, and we continue to be very clear about the fact that we don't want coffee and headlines to become this place where you are constantly bombarded by advertisers. Uh, 
That said, or the, the, the other side of that, is that we definitely want to promote this wonderful community that, that we are so that people know that, you know, as I was saying before, you come to Puerto Vallarta, you can retire, but then there are all these wonderful people, all of you who are creating wonderful things and staying useful and staying purposeful. So let, let us have a conversation, Rita, and, and if anybody here in the community has a good suggestion as to how we can share all these resources without the community becoming a depository of advertisements, um, I would be so very happy to find that path along with you. I, we, we've been very grateful. You know, a lot of times you walk into live broadcasts and all you see is people selling things and trying to get you to click on things. And so far here in, um, in, in Coffee and Headlines, we've been very fortunate that you guys are very, you, you guys are very interactive you engage, and that's precisely how I want to keep it. So keep me posted on how we can best uh, put this together, how we can best serve you without um, becoming um, too advertising. I am so very happy to hear your opinions on that. And this is uh, something that we we can certainly do this every Tuesday, although I fear that if we do it every Tuesday, we will be getting pretty much the same bookmarks and websites. So let's let's play it by ear. You tell me what you need, and we'll be very, very happy to make it happen. And speaking of making it happen, let's make our ending happen, because we've been here for a little while. As always, I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. It is always wonderful to learn more about what you do. Um, yes, I will go to La Leche, and I will photograph those facades, and we will be counting penises on Sunday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and if you run into somebody who has schwitzing or body odor um, uh, problems, you know, you may want to say something. You may not, but just think about the squirrels. Between now and then, Luna Cam, somebody says, well, she's out and about. I mean, I would show you the Luna Cam, but, you know, Luna is not there right now. It's just my little hand. Uh, but um, I'll, I'll, I promise I will get her. I will get her tomorrow and I will persuade her to spend some time with us. So between now and the next time that I see you, um, please stay kind, stay happy, stay with a sense of humor and stay productive and stay um, compassionate and patient with the surroundings, stay healthy and of course, stay in touch. I will see you soon.